So here are the five new features in Adobe Premiere beta version. Let's check them out. Adobe Premiere Pro beta version introduced five new features and enhancement aimed at improving the video editing experience, enhancing functionality and user efficiency in video editing. Go to Creative Cloud, click on beta apps and in the beta apps you should see all the adobe applications that are in beta of course we need adobe premiere download and install adobe premiere and once it's installed go ahead and open it as you can see it has different logo than the normal adobe now I already made the project here it's for testing first feature we have is the ai powered audio tagging and badges as soon as you upload any video, the AI by itself, it will recognize what type of audio you have in there. For example, in this video, it was me just explaining about the car. It automatically knew it's a voiceover. Let's say if I want to add um, music, and once I upload it in there, as you can see first, the AI is trying to recognize what type of, what type of audio this is, and then it will assume it's music which is right, it was, this was the music. It's just a very sick option. Also here I added the sound effect and as you can see, it gave me the sound effect icon. That's pretty cool. Next feature we have is the interactive fade handle. This is very helpful, let me show you why. So here, we have in this video right here, as you can see, next to it in every audio, you will see the fade handle right there. By just clicking on it and dragging it to the left, or to the right you'll be able to fade the audio but now we just by one click dragging dragging it to the left that will it will fade it for you um, as long as you want it of course however let's say if you want to finish quick or finish late all you have to do is just by the fade handle you click on it and drag it up or down and you will be able to adjust it now uh, let's say you have two sort of music for example here And let's say I want to mix these two music together. This is very sick, let me show you. All you have to do is same thing. You click on the fade handle and then drag it to the next audio and then it will actually mix it so perfect that you won't even tell where the cut is. Here, check it out. This is sick. This is really, really nice option. I'm not gonna lie. It, it's very helpful when you add two type of music and then you're trying to fade it so perfect. I always make it, but it's just very time consuming. Next we have the redesigned FX clip badges. Uh, with that, actually, you see that there's a badge. On a badge, on the a, on a clip, there's an FX. You just click on it and it will take you straight to the FX section. Next we have is enhanced speech. With enhanced speech, I probably would say they probably need just a bit more tuning because I sound kind of weird. I'm gonna take some pictures for the beauty with this in the background. See that? Yeah, so overall it's, it is helpful. And here's how you use it. You click here, you enhance. Once you click on enhance, it will load and it will fix it for you technically. All right, and the last new feature, new clip color and wave design. I'm not gonna lie. The colors are very vibrant and um, they look very different. However, on their website, it shows that, you know, it should separate each audio by itself, like with a different color. But for some reason, it only did it the usual green and blue. So I changed that one red, just how they have it online. Uh, but probably next update will do it automatically. They forgot that part and changing the colors. It should automatically change all the colors for you and separate it for easier editing. At the end, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time.